talking all things girls and hygiene okay hygiene 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 is very very important Today is going to be a video talking all things girls and hygiene, okay? Hygiene, hygiene, hygiene is very, very important, especially if you're a girl. I just feel like girl body parts are just way more sensitive in general versus male body parts. So... I feel like with women, we have to be extra precautious, extra precautious, right? Extra precautious when dealing with the beautiful temple that God has blessed us so much with. So today I come with five tips that I personally do for myself and I am sharing them with you today, okay? So these five things are things that I do on the normal because I'm not gonna lie, I have, you know, smelt myself before, of course, privately, like I never, well I hope I never was around other people where I stunk, you know? And if I did, I hope they would tell me, so far nobody has. So I'm going to assume that nobody has ever smelled me stinking before. But I have been with myself for what? I'm, how old am I? I'm 22 years old. I'm about to be 23 in September. So shout out to my Libra gang. I'm September 27th. Um, but I've been with myself for 22 years. And I know when I stink. Okay? Like, I know when I stink. Like, I can smell myself, you know? I ain't gonna front. I've had dirty times before. Like, I'ma just keep it all the way above. We keeping it real 100 in this video. I've had dirty times, but I've never done dirty in public. That is one thing I cannot do. You will never smell me in public. That would never happen, because I'ma make sure of that. So, these five tips that I'm about to share with you, you ain't never gonna stink in public, baby. Girl, so we need to hop on the Chris boat and let's sail off to sea. So, let me um, find my notes because I had to write these things down in my notes. So, they're not gonna be in order. I literally just wrote these things down as I thought of them. So, the first thing is always walk around with deodorant slash perfume. Y'all, let me tell you, I never used to walk around with deodorant. I never used to walk around with perfume or some type of body spray, right? And I would find, like, let's say, you know, I'm having a long day. Let's say it's hot outside. Let's say it's summertime. I put my deodorant on early in the morning and I'm going throughout my day. Let's, I am a heavy sweater. So I sweat a lot, a lot, a lot. I sweat so much. And when I sweat, if there's no type of scent there, like for example, if I'm sweating and I have no deodorant on, my armpits are, best believe my armpits are gonna stink. They're gonna stink disgustingly. So I found that like when I don't have deodorant on me, throughout my day, you know, I would sweat and it would start to smell like my sweat was fighting with the deodorant to see which smell was gonna overpower which. So, I came across problems like that and I just thought to myself, 
I need to carry around with some damn deodorant because whenever I need to reapply, whenever a bitch starts smelling musky again, you know, whenever a bitch starts smelling musky, I'm gonna need to reapply some deodorant because clearly my sweat is out, is overpowering the deodorant. So I need to reapply and seal that sweat back in to make it smell good because it's not good when you stink and armpit sweating smelling is like one of the worst smells ever like it is nasty and armpit odor is very very strong it's a very real thing like it exists and it you know it really should be uh like there should be a law about smelly armpits like word to everything because that shit stinks really bad so, you know, just for, to prevent all of that, whatever, you carry around with some deodorant, a small one, like me, because I'm lazy and stuff, I be forgetting a whole bunch of stuff. What I do is, like in my car, I have a whole separate deodorant to keep in my car with a perfume that I keep in my car. I have my deodorant, my perfume that I keep in my house. And then like when I'm traveling, like if let's say I know I'm about to be outside, I put another deodorant like in my bag, whichever bag that I'm wearing. So like that's how I be doing it. Like I be having different deodorants for different places. So like that, even if I forget, I already knew that it was already there from last week. So I don't even gotta worry about it, let's say if I forgot, you know? So that's the first tip. The second tip is you can use deodorant any place on your body. So for example, I'm gonna share this experience with me because this is an experience that I've had and I wasn't too sure how to fix it. So like, for me, like I told y'all, I sweat a lot. Like, I sweat a lot and I sweat heavily. So during the summertime or anytime I would be dancing, like when I was back in high school and stuff, I would always realize that like I sweat in between like my thighs. I'm about to, I'm about to show y'all. So this area here, I sweat in between that area very, very often. Often I sweat there a lot. And you know, when I sweat there, sometimes it would have an odor. And I'm just like, dang, okay, I've used baby powder. Baby powder, First of all, I heard baby powder is not even good for you. So when I would use it, I felt like it did help. But, you know, just knowing that baby powder is not really good, especially for your, like, vaginal area, you know, I would be scared to use it. Like, I wouldn't want to use that shit because I'm like, I don't want no fucking vagina cancer or some shit. So, um, I was scared to use it. But then I tried deodorant so what i did was i just took you know some deodorant and literally like how you put it on your arm i literally did that on both sides on my inner and let me tell y'all that thing did magic for me okay when i say magic i'm talking about magic like i never had an odor issue again ever when i whether i sweat heavy whether i don't sweat at all nothing never had to deal with that problem again so you can use deodorant in any place on your body that you feel like you have an odor i mean that's deodorant you can use it on your skin you use it for your armpits your armpits is a place where skin creases up because it, you keep it closed most of the time so in any place that is creased up with skin and sweat it's a mixture for nasty odor and deodorant is your best friend in cases like that so you want to put deodorant on you can use deodorant anywhere on your body you can use deodorant anywhere on your body so literally deodorant is your best friend so if you are battling um a odor issue let's say anywhere on your body try using deodorant i'm pretty sure is gonna solve your problem so now the third thing is take multiple showers if you have to so what I mean by this is I'm gonna use me of course as an example so like today I had a very bad stomach ache right 
and I already had took my shower early in the morning. It was about like midday when I caught my stomach ache. I had to take a number two. So I took my number two and I just felt mad dirty after, especially down there in that area. So I just hopped in the shower, take a bath, refresh my body and come out. And I kind of tend to do that like every time I do like a number two I'll just like jump in the shower and just wash myself because I just still be feeling dirty after I wipe with tissue and sometimes I feel like tissue is not even completely um like cleaning my area down there even with wipes too like I just feel better taking a shower so I do like to take a shower every time after I do number two so most times when I'm doing number two I gotta be in my house I gotta be somewhere that I can take a shower cuz I'm not just doing number two in public at all mm -mm. I ain't doing it so definitely if you need to take a shower again it's okay to take a shower again you don't have to take a shower only twice a day you can take a shower four times a day three times a day okay you can take a shower multiple times in a day um another thing too is if you're sweating it's okay to refresh yourself it's okay to take a shower again i find myself taking plenty of showers throughout my day just because i feel like my body needs that refresh that you know like i need to feel i need my skin to just feel nice and clean like taking a shower feels so good when you come out like it is one of the best feelings so take multiple showers it's okay to take multiple showers number four so this has to do with you know when we're on our cycle so when you're on your period frequently change your pad okay so now about that we have vaginas we have these things that have blood coming out of them every month right so you know your hygiene could get could go down your hygiene could go down when you're on your period because the fact is every girl who's on your period is gonna have that period odor like that period odor you're never gonna get rid of it because it's blood coming out of your body so you're always gonna have a period odor but what you can do is minimize that odor what you can do is minimize that odor to where no one can smell it where it's almost as if the odor does not exist how do you do that you must frequently change your pad i cannot stress that enough frequently change your pad use my deodorant method put some deodorant in the creases of your inner thighs and change your pad frequently like change your pad another thing is i don't recommend tampons i've tried using tampons maybe like two weeks ago and i just don't like the idea of something going inside of me when it's blood trying to come out tampons make me cringe tampons are uncomfortable for me and i just think it's nasty to use them i don't know i'd rather be using a pad i'd rather use a pad i feel like whatever needs to come out it just needs to come out not be forced to stay in so with that being said i don't really think using tampons is i don't know i feel like you could just get like i don't know like infections or something in there i don't know anyways i don't like tampons so i wouldn't recommend using them i feel like you should use pads i just feel like you need to change your pad like multiple times throughout the day like multiple times every time you well i was gonna say every time you pee you need to change your pad of course but some people don't even be peeing frequently which i don't even know how you can go your day and only pee like twice or three times in a day like i be peeing mad times so um definitely change your pad every time you pee but even if you're not peeing force yourself to pee and you need to go change your pad because when you on your period that's a very 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 um yeah, period be testing females hygiene i'm gonna just let that be known like periods be testing females hygiene i should not be able to tell that you're on your period at all at 
all. Um, another thing that I want to say about that too is shaving. Cutting your hair down also helps to reduce odor. So like, if you keep your armpits nice and cut, if you keep your, yeah, you know, <laughs> nice and cut, that will also help to reduce odor because I don't know why hair, you know, hair is good and hair can also be a pain in the butt. Hair is good when it's growing on top of your head, in your eyebrows, on your lashes, but then when you get to places like your arm, your cool, your underarms, why does hair exist there? I have no idea and I wish it would be gone, but you know, keep it stuff trimmed because hair can cause and can contribute to smelly odors i promise y'all so now the last thing is what you eat now i still suck at this tip but what i do be doing is i be drinking a lot of water now that is for like my urine you know because i want my urine i need one of my urine to be like a nice clear color so i be drinking a lot of water but if you are eating like greasy foods and stuff like that when you sweat you're sweating out all of that grease so what you eat definitely contributes to your odor i feel that way if you're eating foods like fruits and stuff like that that contributes that helps the inside of your body and when you're helping the inside of your body it's going to show on the outside of your body so with all that being said i hope i was able to you know give you guys a tip and i hope you learned something new from this video make sure you guys check out how i got this hair color it's gonna be in the description down below i am wearing madison lashes from my lash line official k lashes so make sure you guys check out my website because i love lashes and um these lashes are bomb and if you don't have them girl you are missing out stop playing you better stop playing child stop playing <laughs> so with all that being said make sure you guys follow me on instagram because i'm always 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 keeping in communication with you guys via there so follow me on instagram tiktok and snapchat and i mean that that pretty much sums up my tips on um hygiene i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next one bye